Hey photographers! In today's video, we're going to be providing you tips and tricks for aviation photography. Yeah, aviation photography is a unique and exciting genre of photography that involves capturing images of aircraft, both in the air and on the ground. Aviation photographers have an opportunity to capture everything from small private planes to massive commercial airliners, from vintage warbirds and even futuristic planes. Yes, so if you're interested in trying your hand at aviation photography, here's a few tips to help get you started. The first tip is finding the right location. So one of the keys to successful aviation photography, photography is finding the right location to photograph from. This might be an airport, an airfield, um, a good vantage point near an airport. You'll just wanna look for a location that offers a clear view of the aircraft and consider factors like the direction of the sun and prevailing wind. So we have um, a smaller airport here near where we live um, that has monthly fly-ins. That's a great place um, to look. Check your local airports to see if they have any similar type of events. The smaller air airports probably have more events that will get you closer to the planes. Air shows are a great place to take aviation photography. Um, and even our, our big airport here, we've got some great pictures um, from the, the rooftop of a parking garage. Yeah, yeah. Yes, when you get the opportunity to do aviation photography, one of the things you really want to do is focus on using a telephoto lens. It's essential in aviation photography, allowing you to capture detailed images of aircraft from a distance, look for lenses that have a focal length of at least 200 millimeters, and consider investing in a lens with image stabilization to help you reduce camera shake. With that being said, there is a time and place to use a wide lens as well in aviation photography, um, specifically when the planes aren't up in the air, when you're up closer to them, maybe doing more portrait style shots um, or environmental shots where you want to get the, the plane with the hangar in the background. Yeah, uh, even take a fisheye. Fisheye is a lot of fun with a, a plane that's stationary, maybe a single engine plane, the by wings with the wings out, and it kind of gives you a different look. So it's kind of cool. Another thing you want to do is pay attention to lighting. Lighting is critical in aviation photography. The best lighting for shooting aircrafts often occur in the morning or in the late evening. So when the sun is low in the sky and it creates long shadows, avoiding shooting directly in the sun as this can create a flare or other unwanted effects like silhouettes. Yeah, absolutely. Another thing that you're going to want to do, and uh, this is one of my favorite things, is to experiment, experiment with different perspectives, different angles. Aviation photography offers the opportunity to capture aircraft from a wide range of angles. You can shoot overhead as they're flying over you. Um, if they're static, you can get close up of the engines and other features of the planes. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can get environmental shots with um, pilots you know, in the image, hangers in the image. Most air shows or flyings will have a lot of people that you will need to shoot around. So this is where it gets a little tricky. What you'll need to do is be patient, wait for the right moment to take your shot. Um, a lot of times if you shoot down low and up at the plane, that will help to remove or hide people from the frame. Moving around the plane from different angles will help as well um, eliminate some of the people from the frame. You're just gonna have to look for the right moment and um, the right angle. When you're shooting down low as well and shooting up into the plane, this makes the plane appear larger, wider, and closer. And I think these are fun shots. These are some of my favorite uh, airplane shots that I've, I've taken. When the plane is in flight, you're going to wanna to try to anticipate the, the line of the flight and take into consideration the background. So as you see the plane moving, look ahead in the sky if there is a rising moon or some really cool clouds, you wanna to try to align the plane with um, those features. Yeah, absolutely. Let's talk camera settings. When the plane is static, we typically shoot in aperture priority. We'll set the aperture at the lowest number between 2.8 to 5.6 and an ISO for the lighting conditions and the camera will choose the shutter speed. If you notice the sky isn't as blue as you would like it to be, then you can try lowering the exposure with the exposure compensation, say minus one or 1 1.5. Or you can shoot in the opposite direction of the sun. Shooting the same direction of the sun will make the sky look blown out. 
If the plane is moving and has a propeller that you want to show motion in, you'll have to use a slower shutter speed. We recommend somewhere between 1 80th and 1 250th of a second. Now, when a plane is moving fast in the sky, 1 250th of a second may render a softer focus. The trick is trying to pan the camera as you shoot the image. This is a difficult technique and it takes a lot of trial and error. The lower you set the shutter, the faster you'll have to pan. Yeah, and when we are talking about panning, that is essentially moving your camera as you're pressing down the shutter button. So the next, next thing we wanna talk about is getting permission. So many airports and airfields will require photographers to have permission to take photos on the property, especially if it's for commercial use. Um, however, like I said, many airports have events where they're happy to have people there taking pictures um, of the aircraft. You just want to be sure that you're respectful and you follow any rules and regulations. And again, respect the privacy of the pilots and the crew. If you're going to be taking a picture of a pilot in their, their plane, we recommend asking their permission first. Yeah, definitely. So in summary, aviation photography is a very rewarding and challenging genre allowing the photographers to capture the beauty and the power of the aircraft in all their forms. By finding the right location, using long lenses, paying attention to the lighting, experimenting with different angles, and getting permission, you can create stunning and dynamic images to, that capture the magic of flight. Yeah, we absolutely believe that you guys can create some beautiful images. We hope you found these tips helpful. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Comment below if you have any additional tips that you think would help other photographers um, getting into aviation photography. And until next time, get out there and explore. Create. And do, do good. good. Bye. Bye, guys.